Today's gameplay breakdown is going to be a little different and you probably will notice it right off the bat. We are going to be at ADFOV breaking down one of the best console players there is in all of Warzone and that is Reed Boy, somebody we've covered who streams regularly on Twitch and uploads on YouTube. We're going to kind of take a look at how this is. He ends up getting over 30 kills in this match on a PS5. We have a couple engagements here. He's playing with some other friends he, he normally plays with. This is Quad. He comes out, takes this guy out. One of the biggest things is going to differentiate Reed Boy from a lot of other players and I think a lot of times people struggle with is the centering. His centering is actually pretty solid for the most part and you need to have good centering if you're going to be on a lower FOV which is what console players are at typically 80. If you play at 110, 120, whatever it is, you do get a little bit of leeway because if you're looking a little bit too low, you get still the visibility you need. So right here, it's coming through. You're gonna look at the recoil control, how he handles specific fights, how he uses utilizes the mini map, all those types of things. Shout out to all of you guys who've been supporting these videos. Do me a favor if you are not currently subscribed, 65% of you out there watching are not currently subscribed. Make sure you hit the subscribe button if you wanna be able to find your way back with those notifications and feel free to hit the like button. Hopefully we can get a few thousand likes on these videos so it gets seen by more people. So he comes through looting. You can see all these different dots everywhere. Down low, he heads for this guy. Pretty easy kill. And this guy already had a loadout. So that guy was pretty quick. Wherever the heck they went, probably low control because their teammate pulse there. But you're going to see a lot of the same things we talk about um, are the same things that are happening here. So when we look at the red dots here, we can see that there is somebody right here. We can see that there's somebody down low and there's another one here and then there's another one here. So it's a total of four. What we're going to see is this guy runs in through here. He ends up engaging him next. This guy goes this way. He ends up killing him as he jumps off this building. This is the guy with the loadout. This is the teammate down low. So he can full team wipe these guys without worrying somebody's nearby, at least with the UAV, unless somebody was ghosted that quick and they were just literally on him. So you're going to be able to see how he plays these situations. Um, so he comes down, jumps directly on this guy, gets the thirst. And you'll see as the ping happens, there's a guy above... And then there's a guy below. So this little dot right here, he landed on the roof. He has a little arrow above his head. He landed on the roof. So he might be pushing this way and come down the stairs and then be behind you. Um, but overall, he knows he has a direct one-on-one -on -one if he pushes this guy. And then the other teammates way out of range. Where are you at, green boy? So he comes through, slides. Basically, centers and pre-aims where he knows the guy is. You can see the other guy is still on the roof, and the other guy is coming up down low. So he's taking out two of the teammates, ends up stealing this guy's guns, basically. They got the loadout down low at control. They won, and then he comes back. This guy bunny hops in there. He ends up taking him out. Then there's another one on this level, a little bit above. He pre-aims it. The guy was pre-aiming back, um, and then he backs off of that gunfight. Obviously, ADFOV is a little bit different if you're accustomed to playing it higher. But keep in mind that this guy has a 6 KD on Warzone and in Rebirth it's like a 5 KD and he averages over like 10 kills per game which is incredibly high, wins like 50% plus all those stats. Basically there's almost no excuse, obviously the game crashes and all that stuff and there's those bugs. But don't let the fact that you're on a console be the thing that keeps you at a 1 KD. That is not what's keeping you at a 1 KD, I promise you. He comes through. Gets a transition here. I think he thought that that guy was going to die there. He ends up cleaning them all up. Surprise kills there. He gets basically a team wipe. Uh, exception of one guy that's camping over here on the left. So you'll see as soon as he gets his ping, his teammates are over here. They're dealing with the guy on this side. And these three he basically wipes out. So pretty straightforward kills. Basically shoot him in the back. One was uh, pretty good. He pre-aims where he thinks the guy was, and then he's going to end up backing off of this. And what's funny is since they called their loadout on this building, uh, those guys end up coming back, and he ends up farming them one time and gets a complete team wipe. He probably could have got more kills out of it if he didn't um, go so aggressively to snipe the next guy, but you'll see how it plays out. So right here, these guys are coming back. Kind of a dumb push where they're all landing, and he's right there. So he ends up taking them all out. All three of them, he gets a double kill basically on them. And then you can see where this dot is. Peaks, lines it up, centers it on there. And we'll go ahead and see that again. So he gets these kills. As soon as the ping cop pops up, we know that this guy is in here again. He goes to peek it. It says it's below him because it's a dot like this. You'll see it. I'll draw it so you can see it. And then like this. 
This is what it looks like when somebody's below you. And then if somebody's above you, it'll be more like this. And if they're on your level, it'll be just the dot. So what happens is since he knows that the guy, he's not on the roof, that means he's below him. And it's not in the tower, so he's below him. And he's peeking probably the window on the bottom floor or that little window that is right there. So now we'll see it play out. Perfectly predictable. He's using the mini map. Peeks it. He doesn't over peek here. And then just kind of quick scopes him. <laughs> and basically dumpstered him. So they have a loadout right here. The in-game loadout is still a little bit of ways. He's rocking with that dude's floor loot, basically. He hasn't really grabbed his loadout yet. Already has 14 kills, um, and seven of them for, were from one, that one team. And it's funny because later on, one of the guys he kills on the roof at the beginning is still in the game at the end. So a lot of rebirth, obviously, if somebody's getting 30 plus kills and there's only 40 people in the lobby, they got to kill the same people over and over. That dude was fighting for his life, bunny hopping. You can see the guy at a distance here. He landed a little bit further down. He landing on a loadout where the free loadout spawn is. So... That's where a lot of times people will go. So if you know where your spawn loadout is and there's multiple loadouts there, you already kind of know how you're going to play the position. So you can see the loadouts right here. There's two. That one, they just disappeared. So they got eliminated from the lobby. He's peeking the area. Oh, damn. There's like five people underneath or four. He's like, all right, do I hear anything? Do I see anything? Check the edge. So he noticed that this guy is zipping up and the other guy is zipping up behind him. So he takes that dude out, takes out the other. These are basically free kills. No matter how good those guys were, it's kind of bad timing. And then now you can see that there's two below with the little down arrow that I was talking about. And the pulsing is from getting the kills. A lot of people were asking that. Well, what causes that? What perk are they running? That is literally how the resurgence game mode works, regardless if it's in Caldera, Berdansk, or Rebirth Island. When you get a kill, a full kill, it will ping on the map, regardless if they have ghost or not. Red dot, without ghost, without red dot, you just get the regular white circles that ping out. So he's going to push this, expecting two people, and he can choose his angle so he only fights one first, right? Hey, 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 get out of game chat, please. So he peeks it. He catches the guy running. He doesn't get the kill. He checked the corner. We know that there's still two in this general direction. He checks the little corner there, trying to bait a shot. And that's sometimes what you can do with your movement. If you're 100%, don't fully commit to that hallway because then you'll get instantly deleted. Catches this guy as he comes up, takes him out. That guy will come back and kill him later on. And then he'll get the return kill. You can see the guy down the hall there. He called last one. So they're going to leave him alone. So they respawn as their full team. Hopefully they don't get their loadout guns and then you'll be able to get some free kills. That's what a rebirth is a lot about. I know some people are perfectly fine. Just po he bad timing there. He just jumped right through that dude. He's like, what the heck? So he gets out of there. The guy did jump back down, tries to shoot him in the back. Um, people are perfectly fine getting three kills and a win. That's okay if you enjoy that. I'm not telling you to change how you'll play. I'm just saying that if you feel like you're missing something, you feel like, what the heck am I missing from this mode? And maybe you want to try to challenge yourself to get more kills. That's okay too. You, you, you can do that if you want. You don't have to go, like, crazy and, and go on these win streaks. Or I mean, you can play however you have fun at the game. He gets sniped right here. <laughs> so here's what ends up happening. He ends up pre-aiming. There's end up two people on the roof. There's a ghosted, and then there's a non-ghosted, which we'll go ahead and check out right here. So here's what I was talking about earlier. To clarify, this guy does not have ghosts. This guy is somewhere right there where the, the ping is at the center of the ping. Um, and they do have ghosts. That's why their red dot is not appearing. So what happens is he goes and preems this dude. And this dude ends up on the head glitch right here. And we'll go ahead and see that as he steps out. We can see the guy he's aiming at is the red dot. And then he ends up getting sniped by the ghosted player. So if we go back a little bit. So he's peeking like more right here where, where the guy, he's expecting this red dot to be, which if you look at right here, it's a straight line. And then this guy is like on the heady right here. So 
that's kind of what ends up happening. He just peeks the guy, and the the oh, glint I is there for a quick second, much. and he ends up just getting demolished. So that's his only death of the thing. He gets quick scoped pretty much, and then they wait for their teammate to spawn in. They stay alive, and luckily the loadout's still in the zone. They have both loadouts because his he hasn't got a loadout up to this point. He just stole some of these guns who went out of their way to get a loadout initially. He just won that gunfight and took that guy's guns, which is kind of screws that player because now they have to go out of their way to buy another loadout. It's like when you come back to your guns, people will steal your guns on occasion, and then you're kind of like screwed. So up here, this is on the roof. You can see kind of what's going on, the different action around. And you can kind of peek it. His teammate just died over here. There was a red dot there. There's a guy right here below. Obviously, mostly everything in this area is below this point, unless you're on even level. Um, so this guy is in the building with the teammate engaging. And then we'll kind of see what ends up happening from there. He's really, really one shot. Peeks it. Down. Gets an assist with the teammate, basically. See, the teammate's downed. Another one just hopped in the corner. Then he makes an, a, a weird jump here, right? Like, this is an unorthodox jump to get in here. And, and the Rebirth, a lot of the playtime, you learn these different jumps, and you just get better at doing them. He comes behind, shoots this guy who's basically one shot. Another one's armor. Okay, I have just choked He's like, where the heck did this guy go? He sees the red dot. He's chasing the red dot, lines it up, takes this dude out pretty easy. Now you know there's another guy gliding in, and there's another one probably on the other side. Almost got him. There, That guy was basically, he was going to be one shot. So right here, he's still 20 kills, and he's going to still rack up uh, at least eight more to hit the 30. The reload on this thing cancels pretty easily. He ends up just catching this guy. Pretty easy kill. Shoots him in the back. But he gets the three pings. So these two are the immediate threat. This one's a secondary threat. So you got to kind of kill these two and then find out where the pings are and if the other guy's spawning back in. And this is a lot of rebirth mechanics here. Choosing which gunfights you need to challenge. Comes through out here. Listening for footsteps. Checks the room. Nope, nobody there. Goes up top. Happens to peek it. Gets the guy. Now he has a ping. This guy is below him. So the guy could be on the second level or the first floor of grandma's house, or he could be in the basement. Those are the two spots. The other teammate hasn't spawned in yet, and this guy is going to get probably killed by his teammate here or here uh, holding that angle. So we'll see how that plays out. So he's like, all right, there's a guy below me. We go check. Please tell me he's going to use my neighbor. Swings across. You can see how he kind of like slide canceled into it. The guy ended up catching him plating, so it kind of worked out that way. And then his reload, it gets canceled a couple times here. Because with the Lapa, for whatever reason, unless you let it go all the way through, it will cancel. He ends up buying a gas mask, making a little bit of gas play per se to get back into the zone. Use his money wisely. Could have got a free precision there. That's why he's like, damn it. So he knows that there's one down here. And his teammates are working up on the one on the right here. So you can see the teammates is involved there. And then this guy landed somewhere right here, right next to it. And he's just going to go ahead and push down. And the thing to keep in mind is there's only three teams left. His team, the team they're dealing with, and then some random team somewhere out, out in the, over there, or over here. You don't actually know where that last team is without a UAV. So he could have been better if he maybe he had a UAV. Catches this guy in rotation. He's going to get the pings. All right. So there's their guy there. And there's another one right next to it. And then there's somebody over by blue. So that's where all the teams are. Basically, you got a triangle of where you're at, where he's at, where the, where the contract is, and then over by control. Still looting. Came up on a little bit of a bag. Goes up, gets a different angle. Respawns are gone right at the four, uh, fourth zone. Uh, you don't really need to. Oh, you're just that good, eh? Well, no, I like it to make a difference. Third party in the rotation. So, like I said, like from the mini map, you could already kind of tell where the rotation was. He rotated early. Ooh, somebody's still in the sky. And then there's somebody out deep. So he's like, all right, there he is. He lands right next to his teammate. That was the guy he just killed. And then 
He's able to just get the contract or get the streak going. Spots the guy on the right. There's another one cutting left. He got it down in the thirst. Holy fuck. So there's still like three on this side somewhere. He's down two on the right, and then there's one more on the left. He got the thirst. So these are two teams that landed in this area. They were split. Comes back, shoots this guy in the back. Relatively easy kill where the guy's caught in the animation. And he has 31 kills. Check out Reed Boy. He live streams on Twitch pretty much daily, 8 to 10 hours a day. Appreciate your support and the content. Thank you for watching. As always, have a great day.